Since the I didn't feel it necessary to discuss the app software function, I will take you through them. Let's first go quickly through the main menu. Um, I'll try to go through these quickly. If you need more time, just simply pause so you can read what, what you need to read. First off, you have advanced mode. Advanced mode, you absolutely need it on. It's one of the functions that is turned on by default, but you really do need it on. Basically, all your special functions that you have are under advanced mode, and also saving your map is under advanced mode. Then we have vacuum power. That's simply quiet, standard, max, and max plus. Uh, quiet, I highly recommend you use during mapping because it doesn't use the battery power and there's a lot of reasons why you don't want to use excessive battery power during mapping. Uh, then you have water flow level. Very simple, low, medium, high, ultra high, your personal preference. You have cleaning cloth reminder. This is for the mopping. Uh, if you want to set it to remind you to clean the cloth after a certain amount of time, you can set that. Auto boost function. This is simply if it detects carpet, it automatically puts your vacuum into high mode. Um, it comes in handy when you have carpet and you don't have to adjust your suction for each room. Continuous cleaning. This function, basically when it comes, this is another function that is turned off by default that you want to be sure is on. When the battery gets low, it will go back to the docking station and recharge and then continue on with that job. Without it, it just goes back to the docking station and just stops. Ends, ends the job. Do not disturb. Set this if you don't want it to wake you up in the middle of the night. Certain times you don't want it to run. You said do not disturb. Clean schedules. Pretty basic. You have two different types of cleaning schedules. You have auto cleaning, which cleans everything, and then area cleaning which you clean certain specific areas of your map. Just certain rooms, you select which ones you want cleaned at a certain time, and that takes care of it. Let's see. Reset current map. You want to be very careful with this. This will delete your map, where you have to remap and start over. Uh, cleaning log. This gives you the cleaning log of all your vacuum jobs. Comes in very handy at times. Also, you can actually see exactly where your vacuum covered at that time. Then you have accessory usage. You have certain accessories that need to be replaced after a certain amount of time. This here just gives you recommendation on when an, a, an item needs to be replaced. Voice report is very basic, very simple. It just you have the volume here. You select the language you want to use. That's all there is there. Renaming your robot, pretty self-explanatory. Help. That basically gives you some Q&As, some tutorials, instruction manual, and also on some countries you have a live chat and send messages down here to where you can contact support. Some countries do not have that. About DBOT, very basic, gives you firmware version and square footage or basically your measurements that you want to use, meters or feet. You can adjust that there, your serial number, network information, all that. Your IP address. Find DBOT, basically all this says that's all that does. Just says I am here. Now, next we want to go to this little down here where it looks like two pieces of paper and a pencil. This goes takes you to multi mapping, multi floor mapping. You want to be sure this is on, but simply because it will show you that your maps are saved, and also it gives you. A save function here when you first map. Once you save the maps, the map button will disappear and it'll just show that you have saved maps. Now to show you the most obscure menu that they have, 
uh, you actually have to click on the map itself to get you to the next menu. This will give you all your special functions, your virtual boundaries, edit areas, label areas, and delete. That deletes the map just like the one before. Virtual boundaries, you can set up where you don't want the mop to go or the vacuum to go. And edit areas, if you want to set up certain walls, dividers, or take down certain walls and dividers, you do it with that. Divide areas or merge areas. Label areas, this gives you a small set of labels that you can label your rooms with and that also also work with uh, your smart smart speakers. Back to the main page, you have three options. You have area cleaning, which basically you're able to select the area you want to use to go to for the vacuum to go to. Auto cleaning, that does everything. And then custom cleaning, that basically you can set up, I want the, the vacuum to go just to this area. It'll go to that area, clean it, and then go back to the main then up toward the top, you have this little button, this right here, that's to scan the QR codes when you first set up. And this right here is your messages, uh, notifications that you get throughout. This is notifications from support. This is messages from your robot. And sharing robot that you can share with somebody else basically uh, you can also do the same thing by just using login and multiple 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 apps certain vacuums like the have the camera will not allow you to share the robot you have to use the login on multiple apps that should cover everything if you have any questions just uh, ask in the in the question and feel free to join my Facebook group, DBOT Tips, Tricks, and Troubleshooting, to answer any DBOT questions you have.